All right, everyone, here we go. How about a Friday reading? One card for each sign, like I always do every Friday. We take a look at the soulmate cycle, the energies right now. We paint a picture here, okay? Paint a nice picture. Everything matters. You're all part of the same cycle. Watch everything. You're all connected. Write down anything to make sense to you. Add it up at the end. You get a little personal reading. <clears throat> but uh, I'll add it up at the end and have the universe give us three cards to sum it all up. Um, so basically, it's an all signs reading exploded on the table. I do not clarify for this reading. It's just one card for each sign, and we see where we're at. Tomorrow, we're going to pull the weekly reading like I always do. It's for the week of the uh, 10th through the 16th. And I'm just going to rattle off some things that are affecting the energy. I want you to prepare for this upcoming week. And I want you to get excited about tomorrow's weekly reading. Because I sure as fuck am. Um, this is a pretty powerful week. I've been talking about it. I've done, did some pretty big all signs readings this week. One on, this past week, one on Venus enters Pisces, right? That's, uh, that was a big reading. And I explained about your person's feminine energies coming up and all of that. And fe feeling things, having to acknowledge them. We also did a Jupiter sextile, the North Node reading, which is the sister reading to that. So all of those energies, both of those energies are still in play. All right, and you have to watch those readings. I'm not going to recover them here. But just this week alone, okay, the 10th through the 16th, also affecting those energies, which you know about from my all signs readings on them, is Mercury entering Taurus, Saturn, the planet, the taskmaster, the planet of lessons, the planet of karma, the energy of karma, I should say, is squaring, and a square is tense, the North Node. So not only is the is Jupiter is Jupiter sextiling the uh, North Node, what's actually happening is while that's going on and they've got their new drug and they're feeling brave enough to come towards you, Saturn karma is kicking in. So if they don't, they're going to get their ass kicked, kind of a thing. There's going to be a lot of towers in the coming week, I would imagine. Beyond that, so we got Mercury entering Taurus, we got Saturn squaring the uh, the North Node, we got Jupiter conjunct Neptune on the twelfth. Jesus, good Lord. A lot of Jupiter this week, isn't there? Jupiter and Saturn play a big role this week, and those are big planets. The two, two largest in our solar system, right next to each other, each with its own purpose, and each kind of working together here. And beyond that, we've got Mars entering Pisces. So fueling up Venus in there. And then we got, we got the super moon, the full moon in Libra, which is a super pink moon, it's called. And because it's a super moon, that energy is here all week. And I will be pulling a reading on that. And I might be pulling a reading on, on something else going on, that Saturn square in the true node. I might. I got to check out that energy a little bit and see how that's playing off of Jupiter sextiling the, true, the uh, north node or true node. Okay? So I'm just trying to point all that out to you because the upcoming week is major. And I'm pulling on the energy right now. Hopefully you've seen my all signs readings that I've done so far. My readings I've been doing, your sign readings, whatever it is. Because it's going to explain this pre-shuffle a little bit to you. This pre-shuffle is just really three cards. It's, it's, it's a sandwich, I've been calling it. It's a Nine of Cups sandwich. The Nine of Cups is, well, it's emotional fulfillment. It's a wish fulfilled, right? It's, it's, it's beautiful energy, you know. It's, it's happiness. It's contentment. It, it, it is. It's all of that. Nines are the end in tarot. Tens are the end, end, dead end that lead to new beginnings. But nines are where you want to get to. It's in the middle here. Uh, surrounding it is a king of pentacles, stability, awesomeness. Right? We'll just call it awesomeness. How about that? And then over here on the other side of the sandwich is the seven of swords. Right? This, these three cards together, the energy here, makes sense for everything I've pulled up to this moment. Because it's someone who wants to see what they missed out on. Feels like they missed out on something and might want to check it out. All right, Might want to get another crack at it. Someone feels like they missed out on something. With, well, they did. They missed out on Nine Cups and they missed out on King of Pentacles energy because this connection, these connections in this cycle are very stable. That doesn't surprise me. That energy does not surprise me because they're forced to feel it. They're feeling it, feeling it, feeling it, and they have the bravery to come get it. The energy is there. That that drug of Jupiter sextile in the North Node, it, it's, it's a temporary energy, but it's a temporary I can do this kind of energy. All right? And that applies to you too in your own life, outside the soulmate cycle, all sorts of things. Some of you might try for jobs or people you never thought you had a crack at. I mean, I don't know. 
Go ahead, be brave this week. Fortune favors the brave. It always does. Uh, does not usually work well for the lazy or the, or the scared. All right, so it's a big week coming up. I'm pulling on the energies right now as we head into it. And you know I might later pull a preview, three quick card reading on that week ahead. But right now, let's take a look at the energies where we are. Let's do an exploded all signs reading on the table here and see where we're at. I like that pre-shuffle. I, I think somebody did miss out on something with you. Uh, of course they did. All right, but, <laughs> and, you know, it was their own fault with that seven of swords there. Okay, I got my shuffle. Bottom of the deck, everything here is clarifying the uh, Three of Pentacles. Okay, again, somebody missed out on something. Can we try again? Can we try again? Somebody wants to work. Somebody wants something with you. Your person never wanted this to be completely over. If for no other reason, they're ego-based and they like the attention, right? You're not talking about them anymore. You're, you're off. You're growing. You're doing things. You're going out. You know, you're, you're, you're finding yourself. Well, they have too. It's been forced upon them. It's been more voluntary on the DF side. Let's go. Our reading's on the flip. You ready? Let's do a Friday reading here. I'll have the universe added up at the end. Watch everything. Doesn't matter what's, what's in your chart, okay? This is, I'm, I'm reading energy here. So we're just dividing the whole cycle up into 12 pieces. You're all a part of it. But pay attention, of course, to your signs and all that stuff, of course, because that's going to be more focused on. You know. Anyway, right here. Uh, so, do, basically do what you want to do. I don't care. Um, Aries. You ready? Aries. Wow, we got uh, a couple of the cards from the pre-shuffle coming back. Uh, it looks like our sandwich is going to make a comeback after all that shuffling. Aries, this, well, well, this is very important. This is what the repeat messages are always important. This is the universe pointing us back to the pre-shuffle and telling me so I could tell you what the most important card in it was. Because this is the first card out in our little painting here. Right? The beginning of our story. The uh, Seven of Swords, Aries, uh, it's, I, I'm not clarifying, but I can tell you it, it's, it's the opposite of what you might think. It's somebody actually getting real. This is important. This person is realizing where they've deceived themselves. All right? It's in the energy right now. Their temptation is that they're hiding under a rock. They got their head in the sand. I call you scary airy on some of your readings because your person is afraid to talk to you. That's all. Doesn't mean you're scary. They got their head in the sand, but they know. They know. It's sort of a revelation for them. I'm, I'm drawn to this raven here who's like, oh, oh my God, someone figuring it out kind of a thing. Anyway, that's the energy that's there. I'm not clarifying, but pay attention to what falls around you, okay? Taurus. Well, Taurus, again, this is amazing. Uh, nine of Cups, repeat energy, very important. The fact our pre shuffles coming back is very important. Um, nine of Cups, um, you know, somebody, somebody thought the grass was greener on the other side, Taurus. It, they were wrong. Uh, it looks like somebody's coming towards you. It looks like they're going to come talk to you. I, if, I wish I could clarify. I'm going to tell you from the energy, they might be a little abrasive when they do. I just think it's because they're afraid of their emotions more than anything else. But some, somebody does want to come talk to you. In, in, in where it pertains to your energy, uh, you're going to have a pretty, you, you, you should be, you're surrounded by a nice energy. You should be having a pretty good week. It should be okay, actually, if you maybe just sort of let the energy flow. Uh, Gemini, we know, is the king of pentacles. Uh, Pre-shuffle came back in order here, just sort of laid out on the table. We begin the whole reading with it. It's fucking mind-blowing. I love it when energy repeats. The King of Pentacles is, again, um, this is how somebody sees you. Your person feels like they missed out on something. You, you were very strong in that pre-shuffle, apparently. Your person feels like they missed out on something. Your person, I've said this to you before, longs for the things they can't do. I don't know why they can't do it or feel they can't do it. It could be anything for a whole bunch of you. They could be trapped in something. I don't know. But boy, do they feel like they missed out on something. And that's what they're sitting in right now. They're watching you. You're fine. You're doing good. You're thriving. That's the energy that's there. I'm not clarifying. We'll see. We'll see how it pans out in the weekly reading tomorrow. Cancer, the hot spot. Eight of Wands. Cancer. Um, I just did a reading for you the other day. And I did a, a uh, uh, cure for cancer a little bit before that. Your person was on the fence, right on the edge of coming towards you. I would cancer. I, I dare I say to cancer, 
And dare I say it to all of you, because this is the hot spot, it bleeds onto everything. Right? The North Node was in Cancer when this soulmate cycle started. Cancer is our host. Cancer is Mr. Rourke here on Fantasy Island. Mr. Rourke's going to be very happy. There's forward movement in your connection. For a lot of you, Cancer, you're going to get communication. The energy is there for you. Your person's itching to do it. they got ants in their pants. I'm, I can't wait to see what comes out for you in tomorrow's weekly reading. It's going to be a very powerful week. It's going to be a powerful week for everyone. My whole pre-shuffle came out and Cancer gets an Eight of Wands. Uh, that's very that's very good a lot of you are going to hear from your person why because as we learned from the pre-shuffle they want to see they feel they missed out on something they know they really missed out they want, might want to take a crack at it Gemini your person's a little bit hold Becky because I don't know there's something just mm, there's something keeping them but there's still a chance they'll come towards you I, I just I wish I could clarify that uh, Leo but pay attention to the cards around it. So for a lot of you, there will be some movement, Gemini. I'm not trying to discourage you. I'm just saying they long for the things they can't have. Leo. The Leo soap opera. Everybody's watching. <sighs> Knight of Pentacles. The energy's slowing down. Why? Oh, I wish I could clarify that. The energy's slowing down. Somebody is... Somebody was on the horse. They're getting off the horse. They're just stopping for a minute. I can dig it. I, can I say that to you? Your, your, I can't tell you apart from your soulmate. I say somebody. Your person is in a... The energy I get for Leo is someone in a toxic situation. Your person's always in and out of that. I mean, they're already checked out of it emotionally, but they're afraid to be out on their own for some reason. They're afraid to come toward the soulmate connection. They're afraid to be vulnerable. They're afraid to open up. These energies this week and the energies that are here right now that I'm pulling on, okay, uh, I, don't, I can dig it. I can dig that this person would be a deer in the headlights right now in their own life, okay? I think some changes are going to be made. There's still forward movement here. It's just slowing down a little bit. This week is somebody's taking a breath and going, okay, I can do this. Something along those lines. I wish I could clarify. We'll see what comes out in tomorrow's weekly reading. Virgo, page of swords. <laughs> Virgo, somebody's either thinking about you or watching you. That's it. That's what I get. Somebody's either thinking about you or watching you. I, I don't know what to tell you. But whoever they are, if they come towards you, because Cancer got the Eight of Wands. If Cancer gets the Eight of Wands, communication falls on everybody. This is everybody's Eight of Wands. Cancer is Mr. Rourke, the host. And Mr. Rourke is happy. Everybody on Fantasy Island is happy. If he, if he upset, if this was Eight of Wands reversed, nobody happy. People locked in their huts, their bungalows. No, nobody get their fantasy. Right? Well, everybody can get their fantasy in this current energy, and it doesn't surprise me. I didn't give that big astrological intro for, a re for, for no reason. Okay. Well, uh, you might be disappointed. If My point in saying that is you might be disappointed if this person reaches out. It might be, you might see that they haven't changed much. But somebody or something is keeping an eye on you, watching you. Could be a boss at work, could be a soulmate, could be all sorts of things. Could be all of the above. Okay. Libra. Nine of Wands. Uh, Libra, 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 Libra. Ah, uh, everybody tired here. Um, mm, nines are the end in tarot. Yes, yeah, somebody's wall is beginning to come down. There's still a lot of nervousness toward approaching you, though. Again, I said, yes, Mr. Rourke over here got the Eight of Wands, so that's good. And everybody feels they missed out on something. Yes. The wall is coming down. It's still there. It's an energy. It won't go away. It's a persistent energy. I wish I could clarify that. We'll have to wait till tomorrow's weekly reading. But that's that's encouraging because nines are the end in tarot. Okay? It's the end of someone's wall. I hope. Uh, Scorpio. It is. That energy, as soon as I said it's the end of someone's wall, I hope, Libra. I thought of the Scorpio card. I didn't know what it was, but I felt it was forward movement. Look at this. The whole water sign row so far is forward movement. Massive forward movement. This, this is like a minor arcana chariot here. And look, Scorpio, you got a chariot. Scorpio, your person is getting their ball, uh, growing a pair, right? Getting their balls out and coming towards you. They are. They, they want to, somebody wants to talk to you. There is serious forward movement here. Serious forward movement for you. Um, it's tied to this energy quite strong and this energy. These three energies are tied together. So again, somebody, again, like all of you, somebody wants to see what they missed. 
Uh, nobody wants you. This person does not want you to get away, whoever this is. They think about you a lot, yet I, I don't think they ever take much action. Uh, I think that's about the change in the current energies, at least a little bit, or maybe a lot bit. Uh, Sagittarius, Page of Wands. I'll tell you the same thing I told Scorpio, but on a smaller level. It's a smaller card. Somebody, this is an energy, sometimes I get this with the Page of Wands, of somebody who definitely wants to work on things. Um, I don't think they know quite how or what to say to you. That's all. Uh, that's, that's the best I can tell you. It is communication. I've got a lot of communication on the table. Okay? Uh, this alone makes for some serious communication for all of you, the possibility of it. Okay? Or at least some forward movement. But I got, I got a lot here in very key positions. Because I read this Seven of Swords. This is an energy of someone who's, who, wants to, who realizes that they've been sneaking away from this and it's their fears holding them back and they want to stop. Because the next card out was the Nine of Cups. It's all red with our pre-shuffle. Someone feels like they missed out on something with you and they want to come get it. I don't think your person quite knows how, but, but there's, there's a chance for communication here. We'll see what the weekly reading holds out for you as well. Uh, Capricorn, Five of Cups. Capricorn, this is your energy attached to this a little bit. Um, you, you're going to, well, I hate saying this. Somebody's going to find out, you're going to find out maybe in the long run that something you thought that was bad, that made you sad that happened, whatever it was, could be your person never contacting you or running from you. You're going to see it was for the greater good in the end. Because you, I'm not clarifying, but I'm telling you, you got something else coming your way. There's two cups still standing. There is still hope for the soulmate to come in, but I think you're going to learn, you're, or you're starting to, it's an energy of someone who's starting to figure out that maybe the lessons they learned were what it was all for, or somebody else comes along that's even better and you can apply what you learned to that person. Okay, something along those lines. You're, it's a very good five of cups. It's a very nice energy for you. All right. Uh, it, it, it's sort of a, it was all worth it upright. All right? I don't know what it means specifically, uh, but we'll see what happens in the weekly reading tomorrow. Aquarius, star. Jesus, Aquarius. Fucking, fucking hell. All the time. Aquarius, you're fine. All right? Destiny is playing out for you. You might be in a moment of scripted silence. I call it scripted silence. It's the moment of quiet. Some moments of crickets chirping where we realize some things, we're in a void, we're in between, and then something happens. All right? It's the moment before something happens. I call it scripted silence. You can call it whatever you want. But it's, it's scripted. It's, it's destined by the universe. It's pre-written. You're fine. Leave yourself alone. Go about your life. All right? Live your life. You're doing just fine. This is nice. A lot of destiny at play for you right now. There's something you're supposed to figure out. Okay, Pisces. Look at this. All cards in the water sign row. It's this is nice. Well, why is that important? Because this this connection is brought to us by Mr. Rourke, Cancer over here, the cardinal water sign. That's the hot spot. It's a water sign cycle. We'll call it. It's a watery cycle, and watery cycles are great. They can be, but they can usually be, in my experience, some of the most difficult. It's difficult for fire signs, possibly. You know, like water tends to put fire out, sort of a thing, or, keep, or cartoon it back a little bit. So, this is nice. Pisces, Ten of Pentacles. Some, it's, somebody's coming to get it. This is your energy is attached to this Ten of Pentacles. Something's about to happen for you very soon where this picture on this card becomes a reality, whatever Ten Pentacles is to you. Now, I always tell you, your energy is tied to Leo's angle for some reason. You don't have to be dealing with a Leo. You don't even have to know a Leo. But your energy is tied to this for some reason. Uh, I can tell you it might take a little more time than what, or, than what you might like because somebody is sorting something out possibly. Some sort of thinking is going on. Some sort of somebody, again, I'll tell you what I told Leo. Somebody, on, your person on the other side, right? The incoming energy is kind of at a, a point where they're going, okay, I can do this. It's like that. Um, but this is, your energy is attached to this. This is in your future. And your energy is also tied to the star over here. There's a lot of destiny at play. Pisces, this is nice. This is really nice. 
see if we, we'll see about an energy update for a few of these signs. I got to pull some more offline readings, but a few of you are getting an energy update for sure. Pisces definitely on the list, no doubt about that. Wouldn't mind looking at Taurus. Aries, you're still scary Aries, but uh, you might want to pay attention to my last energy update for you. But uh, yeah. Uh, Capricorn, I'd be interested to take a look at that too. We'll see what comes up this week. We'll see how much energy I got to play with with all this damn astrology around. All right, let's see where we go. Pulling on the energy I'm reading. We'll see where we go. Either way, let's shuffle the deck here. Let's do uh, three cards and a, and a crossing card. Let's have the universe add all this up. So basically, as I look at it, because Mr. Rourke over here from Fantasy Island got, got himself the cancer self an eight of wands everybody's got potential for communication this week even virgo whose person's been a wall just sort of spank banking them um everybody's got the potential for it some of you might be disappointed by it some of you might it might be a person doing it uh, under duress uh or it could be just slowed down and delayed a little bit but it's a big communication energy as we lead into the new week and i'll be real curious to find out, let me finish my shuffle here. I'd be real curious to find out what the weekly reading is going to be about. I might pull a preview on it later because uh, this is a pretty powerful week coming up as I rattled off to you. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it really is. Uh, okay, uh, temperance, it is a powerful week. Temperance, adding all this up, it's temperance, the hermit, and the queen of swords. The hermit, by the way, is out of the cave. It's not no action, right? I know it's like a double negative. Uh, it's this isn't no action, all right. The hermit is out of the cave. I know that because it's crossed by an ace of wands, all right. So you look. This is my zero card. One zero one. Wands are action cards. Zero is a baseline card. The zero you decide whether or not this zero goes to a one or stays a zero by the card that's crossing it. The card that's crossing it is a fucking one on crack. It is literally a one. It is the ace of uh, wands. A passionate new beginning. Somebody here, all of the energy, adding all this up, it's basically universe basically saying your person is forced to feel all this. Their inner wisdom is coming up. They're like, it's like throwing up at a party, right? You need to hold their hair in the corner as they puke up all their inner wisdom that's coming out. They're feeling this connection, all of them. And it's because of this angel energy here. The angel energy of the connection, this temperance card is about the, the energy balancing. It's also communication. It ties to this as well uh, very strongly. This queen of swords here, this queen of swords, and by the way, the, the stuff that's coming up is making them happy. All right, this is a passionate new beginning. This is temperance, balanced energy is always happiness. All right, it's so Archangel Michael. There's a lot of truth coming to the surface for this person. This is the Queen of Swords. She knows the truth, is the truth, speaks the truth. Their communication might come across a little swordsy if you hear from the person. There's a good chance you will, all of your people, because Aries got this here, and they're the first, the start of our reading. Our reading begins with the Seven of Swords, which I said was someone realizing that it's their fault that they've been sneaking away and I think they would get some bravery here. The reading ends with the Ten of Pentacles. That proves my read on that energy because everything's tied together. The end, at, at the end of the story, everybody lives happily ever after. All right? It starts with a little bit of intrigue and ends with happily ever after. This is kind of what this is saying here. Uh, the Queen of Swords, everybody's person's afraid they might cut them out. Or well, they might tell them to fuck off. There's a lot of time here. But everybody's person also is doing a lot of thinking and feeling. And it's forced on some level. On some level it is. On another level it's not. They're happy to do it. Because these connections all make them very happy. They, a lot of them just don't want to admit it. Alright. Yeah. As I say that. It kind of revealed itself by accident. Fakie McFakerman is crossing that Ace of Wands. So we got the Ace of Wands. Fakie McFakerman. And the uh, Queen of Pentacles. So again, it's somebody, this is, this is your energy. This is you being awesome, being the shit, not chasing, not needing anything. You got everything you need. And they pretend that you don't matter. They pretend that they're okay. This is someone who might still hold back a little bit due to devil energy. But this angel cancels out the devil. I was going to tell you that as I was reading the card, and I thought, well, I don't have a devil, so... But it is, it is good to note that angel energy, temperance, cancels out devil energy. It shorts it out. Well, here it is. Way underneath. You're, you're a bit of an obsession for this person because this devil is crossing the uh, Queen of Pentacles here. 
You're a bit of an obsession for this person. They can't escape. I'm drawn to the ties that bind here. I believe it. I believe that's why Mr. Rourke over here got the Eight of Wands. Right? The host of our connection cycle. I'm going to be very curious to see this week's greeting. This upcoming week. Because I'll tell you something. One of the most interesting things that's happening this week, aside from everything I've been telling you so far and moving into the new core cycle more and more. Right? Everything we've been talking about. One of the most interesting things that's happening this week is that Saturn square, the North Node. That's a tense angle. And a powerful lesson is going to be learned by all here this, this upcoming week. It, I don't know what that lesson is. It's going to vary for all of you. But there's going to be a powerful lesson. It's all about destiny. You know, Aquarius might want to pay attention to it because they got the card of destiny as their card. And it's very important to understand there's a lot of destiny playing out for Aquarians right now. All right? Moving into the age of Aquarius. You know, all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of destiny playing out. Okay, that's your Friday reading. I hope it was helpful. I, I can't find the words to express it, and I know most of you won't understand it because you're conditioned to believe that it's all about your sign and, and all that, but you're part of a cycle and everything's connected. The point I'm trying to make is I can't find the words to express how important it is that Cancer got the Eight of Wands here. Okay? Uh, they've been getting some shit cards, Grandma on the freeway, all kinds of stuff. It, it, their, their, their connection affects all of you. It bleeds on. So keep that in mind. Always remember, if you want the analogy, if Mr. Rourke isn't happy, nobody has a good time on Fantasy Island. This is a happy Mr. Rourke right here. This is good. The buffet is going to be real good on that. That's real nice. We'll see what the week holds for us tomorrow and maybe in a preview later. All right? That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right. Good luck to you guys.